I've been truly humbled this week. Not once, but twice. Humbling number one was most recent. This happened, well, since Friday night. On Friday night, I went to a 90s dance night with three of my very best friends. She belongs to the streets. I love to dance and I love to dance in the 90s. This was my era, so you can only imagine how excited I was. Ah. And I, potentially fueled by nostalgic excitement and whiskey, I danced the night away. I jumped, I shuffled, I hopped, I slut dropped all night. And I've barely been able to move since. Just like a woman. Now I work pretty hard at the gym and I don't think there has been a single workout I've done that has had quite this negative effect on my legs. What is really depressing is that in the actual 90s, I would do this two nights in a row and I would do it in heels. In the actual 90s, my diet was terrible. I used to smoke. I would drink way more regularly than now and I took no other form of exercise apart from when I went out clubbing on a weekend. I can tell you now, I never, the morning after, had to get out of bed by rolling in the fetal position off the side of the mattress and use the mattress as support to actually stand up. Now, I don't exactly know what I expected when I took my 45-year-old body and made it do 20-year-old things. <laughs> but I am truly humbled. Single men, why are you don't pursue anymore? What's up? We do not care. If you love someone, you love them no matter what. So like, yeah, it's okay. Wait, wait hold on. Yes. Repeat that last part. If you love someone, you love them no matter what. Are you talking about unconditional love? Yes. You believe there's unconditional love? Yeah. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Have you ever had that love for anybody? Yeah, I think that I have. Cap. A romantic partner? Yeah. Did you break up with him or did he break up with you? I broke up with him. Well, this must have been conditional. You fell out of unconditional love? How does that work? We didn't talk, so I feel mm -hmm. like that doesn't really... So there were conditions to your life. Communication talking i guess yeah unconditional love that's what we're talking about right mm -hmm. if you have unconditional love for someone there's nothing he could do to f for the goodness of humanity and without expecting something in return i'm completely honest yes i've been called crazy several times in relationships i'm also telling you that the reason why i was called crazy was in a direct reaction from a specific action that occurred there were times I overreacted, for sure, emotionally, not like key your car. But as a full-grown woman, I've established that many of those circumstances was due because I stood up for myself. I expressed my feelings, often matching the energy that was given to me first. Men like to throw that word around, specifically when they're with someone who wants them but doesn't need them. So if my boundaries and assertiveness makes me cry. Hey guys, welcome back to the Spotlight News today. So, as you see, a lot will bring for you a lot of ladies who are messed up. Some they regret after divorcing, some they regret after wasting their time, some they regret after spending a lot of time doing a lot of smoking, drinking, and clubbing. So, at the end of the day, they reach a time and they feel like they want to really settle and it's too late for them. So, here, as you like, subscribe, and share to my YouTube channel, that's what like news. We bring for you different kind of ladies crying to hold on to all the what they did. So this is so educative. If you're to sit and you see it, if you're to sit and we talk about it, you can even add add a commentary down there. So here, this lady, she says she regrets. She used to do a lot of smoking, drinking, and so on. But at the end of the day, when she wanted to settle down, she had to settle for a 26-year-old old boy, yet she was already 45. Imagine that age range. She's 45, but she is willing to settle for someone of 26. And at the end of the day, she got, she got heart, that heart broke. She got... I don't know she was smashed you know because this range is too that boy was too young moreover this 45 year old lady can even produce this 26 year old lady so what did she expect you know guys don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and 
yeah you're most welcome to those who have been joining my youtube thank you i salute you this comes out to you to help you out there to tr someone he's trying someone who feels like giving up normal way to be in a relationship i say this with hindsight i tried the whole let's fix it we both tried it it did not work so it ended up going through that trauma again where we split up in the end anyway so our kids had to do it not once but twice that was a dick move they know we're miserable and really in the end they don't care they just want two loving parents it's like the most toxic relationship on the face of the earth and you can never leave it that's being a mom guys will think that i put myself in this position or that that is my own fault that i my life is the way it is let me assure you that i've spent the last 20 years of my life working really hard to get to a place that i could be independent and support my kids okay i'll start with that i put myself through school three separate times okay i put myself in enormous student debt to be able to provide and have a good career i was diagnosed with a life-changing illness that i refuse to let it affect my life so that i don't have to be on age for the rest of my life and i can make money myself i made fifteen hundred dollars this month at work i can't pay my rent i can't buy groceries i've been using the food bank like a fucking loser i do i can't do anything how is this okay it's not her situation gets so bad to the extent that she has to move to her parents house let's take a look at the next clip butter quick question would you consider me a cool mom i mean yeah i'm sorry what was that i said yeah Oh, I guess I am. This woman destroyed her daughter's life to the point that the son of the daughter be Distraction, distraction, da 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 da. Color, 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 color. Dog, color, color, color. No, mom, I don't know why. I hate it here. Why can't it be normal? I don't want to feel like this anymore. Yeah. The kids are coming. Guys, depression is so real because I've seen a lot of young young youths going into depression and they end up taking away their lives because of depression and mostly if you're to look at these days mostly this is caused by by love guys people people are taking their lives of recently in my country there is a young girl uh you know this tiktok tiktok stuff she was posting herself she used to call herself master of tears little did we know that she is not just doing content but she was going through a lot but she was a young girl i think like 22 but she ended up killing herself she had to rob herself out of life and she's no more she is no more because of depression so and this is not only for the youths but even the le the old ladies are going through this depression most especially love men why i think the right part is to sit and you talk with a man about whatever you're going through before taking your life it was so bad guys so if you have a friend and the friend is going through depression you can advise them to subscribe like and share too spotlight news you can feel people come with different categories of pain people come with different suggestions you never know you may pick interest in that you may pick something in in that so you can control your limit you can you know you can if you're thinking of taking away your life you can maybe stand for it you can maybe talk about it with a friend you can maybe anything but not to take yourself just like that imagine a young kid a young dora story time and this one is for the books so i've been seeing this guy and we have been seeing each other. The conversation is amazing. The chemistry 
is amazing. We spend quality time together. It's not a sexual relationship. Y'all know I've been celibate for at least seven, eight months now. And we have really been developing a really good bond and a really good friendship. But tonight, you guys, that sexual tension, it was at an all time high. Today, I was working on my next YouTube video, Woman is King. He recommended that I go to this coffee shop because sometimes when it comes to like research and stuff like that, I like to do it outside the house because I record inside the house. I've been seeing this guy since the summertime and it's been very lighthearted and we really connect on an intellectual level. And so I am being intellectually stimulated. And so this entire time since the summer up until now, I have been mentally stimulated by him and so i keep getting turned on the more and more we hang out impulsive person so like i'm not gonna lie y'all tried to have sex with him tonight and he turned me down he told me no he hit me with the i really like you if i didn't like you if i didn't care about you i would definitely take you home and f you but i really like you and i really like our friendship i really like our bond and i don't want sex to ruin this bond that we are trying to create he just pulled a me on me. That's something I do. He just used it for me. First of all, he recommended this amazing coffee shop. He met me up there because he just bought a house and he had some paperwork that he needed to fill out. And then went and had dinner at this other spot. And like the conversation and the bonding and the vibe, it was just giving very much sexual tension. And then he hit me with it. He really walked me to my car put me in my car, made sure my seatbelt was on and said, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, damn. I've never been turned down for sex. Like, this is new. He straight up said, if this was like two weeks within us meeting, I definitely would have gave into this. But he was like, I'm not about to ruin a good thing. He won't even cuddle with me, y'all. He won't even spoon with me. He really put me in my car and told me to go home. Y'all, and then we're out to dinner and I'm an Aries. Okay, so I do a little, you know, spicy things in public. And so I tried the little footsie trick under the table. You know what I'm talking about to the girls that do that. Tell her, whoever she is, I love her already. And nothing, y'all. Like, he would not give in to me. And I'm just like, is this for real? And then the crazy thing about all of this is like, I'm actually turned more on. By this. You've been a guy for 10 years and this new guy comes in 10 days. That doesn't match. It doesn't equate. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, well, he makes me feel beautiful. But the guy's been with me 10 years. He's been cleaning up after you, paying for you. So you're comparing the old guy to the new guy. That's why you feel the butterflies. But I'll tell you right now, new guy, 10 years down the line, he's going to treat you the same way 10 years did. They don't want to hear that because they can't. So in this video, another lastly, she came out and she had to tell to tell us about her dating storyline. You know, it is so interesting. Don't forget to like about it or comment about it. She said, "I met the man, and the man was not all about the fuck." You know, the man just we had a date and so on. He just me about sex, sexual stories and whatever, and he just dropped me to my car then he said bye have a lovely day you know by the dating is so tricky guys because everyone dates in a different form and a different way so dating is so tricky so <laughs> i don't know what to say but dating is so tricky but guys thank you so much i think today we are commenting about that but guys most i've seen by the way from the time i started doing this program I've seen a lot of depressed ladies crying out, you know, regretting some divorce. They are men thinking that they will see the future outside. Yet it's the same. Instead of making a proper man, they leave their men thinking they will make a proper one. They will get the proper one. They will get the Mr. Right, you know. At the end of the day, they regret. They want to go back and they are already replaced. And when it's too late for them to to make it out so guys i think we need to work on ourselves most especially ladies we need to work on ourselves we need to stand for ourselves we need to fight for our families why see your family living why see your family meshing up why see your family going 
astray and you feel like running away and by the way my last advice you should know where to seek a device from not every advice you have to take it and be so another one she is depressed she is crying she feels so down if you're to see this video she feels so down because she was left and she didn't expect leaving her so she comes crying while she says i regret you know guys what you should know depression is so real because i've seen a lot of guys young youth let two men in on a little secret ladies don't kill me for this but women hate for a man to know his word I said, yeah, we don't like that shit. Nigga come around thinking he know his worth. Oh, he too good for this. He too good for that. A man that know his worth ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. Nigga, I need you to come around not knowing shit. This is very true. Women really hate guys that know their worth. That's just... How is it women are pretending that they gonna be submissive, but they ain't willing to give all their money? They lying. They liars. Can I get them as They time? liars, bro. They liars. Answer so a woman in a heartbeat that talks about my business. She utters my name. What? Publicly. About us. She gone. I wouldn't have She happy for us. I, I, I mean I don't care. I don't care. You know why? Because I want you to know who my woman is when she's Mrs. Smith. I'm talking about publicly. Right. I'm not talking about she had to go meet my girl. I'm not talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about announcing it. You see us and people talk. Oh, no. Let them talk. You better not talk. I will cancel you quicker than you so can. She can't, so she can't post nothing on IG? Never. I would, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't make it to my crib. <laughs> Come here. Here's some tea about men. A man could sit around and play the field with you and act like your bestie for the resty for decades just to bust the boonies down and then dip after that so for example if you have a you know a significant other that's telling you yo something off about you know richard or whatever like i feel i feel that y'all been cool for years and all that but every time i come around homeboy i'm not getting platonic relationship vibes why are we sticking up for richard oh richard would never do that richard's not and you need to know is it the right decision i'm making to run away Oh, I stay and make things right instead of going to the streets and you regret when it's too late for you. So you should know what to do. You should know the decision to take. You should know if this is the right. You have to follow your heart before doing it because however much people come and advise you, yet you have decided what to do, you can never do it. You will do it. So guys, that is it. I think it's a lot coming on your way. Yeah, bye-bye. May God bless you so much. Take care. I love you all. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and share. I love you more, more and more. May God bless you so much. Mashallah.